last season, lots of screaming, lots of crying, um, lots of fighting. <laughs> this season, please tell me there's going to be a lot of loving. <laughs> what can you, like, I mean, what? there's there's a lot of loving. Is it with our character, Zoe? I'm not too <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's definitely, you know, it, it. there are moments where it feels a lot more like sexier and um, but also darker. In terms of the screaming and the crying, it wouldn't be the Wheel of Time without the screaming and the crying and the tears. So unfortunately, we cannot let that down. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it is, it's is—it's it's really wonderful to be able to explore, you know, maybe the more human, smaller moments of, you know, maybe it's jealousy or grief or longing or sensuality. Um, it's it's really wonderful to be able to sit with those characters and flesh out those moments because, you know, season one was all about, you know, showing the world that we live in, the the prophecy, the plot. Um, and now, you know, we can sort of take a take a breath with these characters. So yeah, lots more tears and screams to come. Everyone has a choice. And every choice has a consequence. I'm bigger than my body. We didn't defeat the Dark One. We set him free. I'm meaner than my demons. No one should have that much power. Bigger than these Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you doing? You. I am very well. I'm super excited for you lot. Um, listen, I guess the first thing I want to say is congratulations because before season one even aired, you knew you were getting a season two and that's pretty rare. Oh, I mean, it was all a whirlwind really because I mean, when we were even shooting season two and uh, season one was coming out, you know, there's always been such an overlap on this show. It's, it's, it's never a dull moment, but um, you know, I have, huge faith in this show and because the series has been so successful amongst um, readers and, and fans, you know, the world is so immersive and um, expansive and uh, it's it's so loved that it's like, you know, you have complete faith in something like this because of the work that Robert Jordan has done um, and also the work that everyone has done on our, ad ugh, our adaption. Um, adaptation, sorry. Um, you know, I just feel a massive sense of pride when moments like that happen, you know. I remember talking to you guys, it was a bit of a whirlwind, you flew in, I think, on private jets. I might be exaggerating, <laughs> <the> UK premiere. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember that day? It was chaotic and you were all like a little bit like, what's going on? Yes, I do yes, remember you. Yeah, I do yeah, remember yeah, yeah. you at the premiere. Hundred yeah. percent. Did you manage to digest everything around you, or was it just crazy? I don't think so. I think we had there was just this immense anticipation of the show coming out. We'd been working towards a release date for what felt like decades. Um, so it was just so surreal and overwhelming to actually get a premiere. I mean, we were still. It was a bit touch and go with the pandemic, I remember at the time. So the fact that we were all able to come together and mm. celebrate the release of the show was not lost on us at all. Actually really crazy when we look back and think think back on, on the times that, like that specific time of, of the release. And yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing to think that that was three years ago now, which it is, is just stop it. crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, crazy. Yeah. My son's like literally having a, what the hell, three years? <laughs> Let's talk about season two. I feel like people were anticipating and some thought it would come um, last year, but it's coming September the 1st, which is yeah. incredibly exciting. Yeah, look, I mean, I think what's so exciting, and I'm, I'm sure you've heard this today, like what's so exciting about this season is that we just get to sit with the characters a bit more. Um, the stakes feel a lot higher um people are really you know the characters really honing in on what their strengths are um everyone's been dealt uh with this the power of the knowledge that they have a part to play um in the turning of the wheel but also their own strengths whether that be channeling um or you know 
other abilities that people may may encompass. What's really exciting for me is seeing these characters be pushed to their limits, as difficult as that was to portray. Um, it's it's really exciting to see what people do with this power, whether they use it for good, whether it corrupts them. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm really excited to see the other big players that join us this season. I'm really, yeah, I can't wait for it to come out because it feels like, and it has been forever. So, um, you know, I know we're just really, really stoked to be able to share this finally with the rest of the world. I saw the trailer go off and then underneath guys, there were like loads of like, what do I want this? And I was, I was like, oh my God, it's like people are so attached to these books. So how do you deal with that aspect of, oh my God, there's going to be a healthy kind of debate about this stuff? Yeah, I think that's that, that's a great question. And I think it's only to be expected in something that's so beloved, like, like the Wheel of Time is. I mean, I don't think we would be here without the fans and without it being so well received as 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 a book series first. So obviously we have to honor and respect that. Um, but it's yeah, it's about leaning into into the fact that as you say, there's only so much you can you can put into um, a television series, especially when you have 60 minutes and there are a lot of pages in those books. So um, yeah, <laughs> I think I think just trusting trusting that the the creatives and and the people that are putting the show together have have um, carefully curated what what is necessary and and what is important to to bring to life. It's not lost on me, and I think I said this to you at the premiere. Seeing so many strong women on screen together has been wonderful, but also mm -hmm. women that are diverse and represent different groups. Um, and I know there'll come a point when I won't even say this because it's not a big deal. It's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. But I feel like while it is a big deal, I have to acknowledge it. It's amazing to see you lot all on screen together. Um, how does that feel? Yeah, thank yeah. you. I think... Um... I think we're lucky to play such wonderfully fleshed out, uh, real flawed characters. And, you know, it's such a privilege to play characters with such depth, um, opposite um, people that, you know, look like us. It's 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 wonderful. Thank you Thank so you. much. By the way, I love the looks. Um, I can't believe you're not together. <laughs> I know, it's a crime. <laughs>